Hi everyone, welcome to today's reading. So I did promise that I would post this midweek. It's Thursday, so technically it is midweek. Um, I thank you all so, so much for your understanding and your patience that I wasn't able to post last weekend um, because I was away on a trip. By the way, I had an amazing time. Um, so yeah, that was, that was just perfect. Um, so yeah, I am here today to do the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine check-in. It is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. And if you would like a cord cutting session with me, you can find some information about that on my community page. I made a post um, a little while back, so it's still there, really easy to find. Or you can just email me for more information on that. And I think that's it. So yeah, Divine Soulmate Connections. Let's see what is going on. And also thank you guys so, so much for all your comments. Um, it means a lot to me. It really does. And I do notice that oftentimes it's it's the same, the same people who leave um, comments. I do notice that. So I thank you. All right. So let's see what is going on currently with the masculines. All right, and we have Hidden Path, The Marriage of Spirit and Matter. Okay, so what am I getting with this? I'm getting that there's something right now that is being hidden, something that you cannot see. Um, I feel like there are some major events that are happening currently that are actually going to be very, very transformative. So these events are happening in the 3D, right, in matter, but there's a very spiritual <clears throat> um, concept behind what is happening in the 3D at the moment, and I feel like it is major, so you might be picking up on something. I'm actually getting that the feminines, or some of the feminines might even be like freaking out a little bit, being triggered by something that is happening, but whatever it is that is happening at the moment, know that there is some kind of a spiritual purpose behind it, okay? So whatever it is that appears to be real or what is happening in the 3D, there's something that is hidden that you just cannot see at the moment. I, I actually feel like even the masculines don't really know or they don't really understand what it is that is happening, but there is something major that is happening. And this, if you are in contact, this might be playing out in the 3D where you can see that something is different, something is happening. Let's see what else. Yeah, and even the masculines don't fully understand it. They're going through something and it's, I'm getting it's even hidden from them. Like the purpose of something that is happening right now. So something big, something different. Um, yeah, all right, let's see. What else for the masculines? Okay, we got quite a bit here. Let's see. <clears throat> we have observer, communication, nostalgia, and balancing the scales. Okay, so for a lot of you who are not in communication, the masculine is definitely um, wondering what you're up to, what's going on. There's a lot of nostalgia here. So whatever it is that's playing out in the 3D, again, I have the feeling that it appears to be something opposite of what is really going on beneath the surface. All right, um, whatever it is that is happening here, whatever it is that is hidden, it's like it's it's divinely orchestrated and it appears to be something maybe really negative. But look at this, right? Balancing the scales. It's all happening in order to bring about some kind of a balance. So I do feel like even for the feminines, um, you might be thrown off balance at the moment or being thrown off. This isn't going to be for all of you, okay? This is just for, for some of you if you are affected by this. And it really just depends on your situation. But it's happening so that both the masculine and possibly the feminine lose some kind of balance and feel like everything is just really, really shaky in order to find more balance than what they had before. And this is also about karmic lessons or balancing out karma. 
So things are playing out, big things. Oh, and here's Mannix. Um, for those of you who are in communication, I do kind of feel like maybe there has been um, a withdrawal a little bit in that communication, okay? Just based off of the other cards around that. And for those of you who are not, again, it's like the masculine is observing, but see, with the question mark, quietly hiding their face. They're watching you more, more than you would think. Okay, so Mannix is here dropping cards off the desk. Yeah. Okay. Give me one sec. And the card that he dropped is the Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, I feel like it, um, things are actually, at the moment, going according to plan. I'm even getting that for some of you, the plan was changed um, in the 5D in order to accommodate for decisions that have been made based on free will. So it's like, even though there is um, what we say a divine plan, that plan can shift and it can be adjusted depending on how free will is played out. I think I was saying something similar in the previous, in the previous reading I did actually. All right, so let's, let's get into the tarot. Uh, something is definitely shifting here. And it's all happening in order to push the masculine towards, towards achieving their, their purpose and learning their lessons. Okay, so for the masculines, let's see, what is going on with them? Just overall, just generally, let's get a couple cards. Emperor, the Six of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. They're really trying to find um, their power. And like I said, I feel like things are going according to plan, whatever that plan is right now, whatever has been adjusted in that plan. Everything is actually in order, even though, like I said, it doesn't seem like it. It feels like the masculine at the moment is really just trying to feel like they are in control of their, of their own lives and of their surroundings, especially in terms of other people. It, it, it's, that's what I'm getting here. It's like trying to really bring their external environment and their connections and relationships with other people, possibly even concerning work for some of them, into this state where they feel like they can actually balance it. So I don't know how that connects to the feminine just yet and to their connection with the feminine. Um, we'll see. We'll see as we go along. Let me get the next set. They're having a little bit of a hard time doing that though. Um, so this, to me, this is coming in as somebody who is trying to distribute their energy, trying to give energy possibly to more than um, more than what they actually can give. And this doesn't have, I'm not specifically talking about other relationships or other people. This could be um, with work, for example. Or it could even be um, a way of life. So, for example, somebody who, wa who wants to be free or who doesn't want to be committed, you know, trying to give energy to that, trying to keep that, trying to hold on to that. But then at the same time, also wanting something else that might be contradictory to that, trying to give energy to that as well. And it's overwhelming. It's, it's kind of hard to have everything. But that is something that they are trying to do at the moment. For some of them, this could even be people pleasers who um, just give priority to others rather than themselves. And they're realizing that that is really hard to manage as well. You, again, you can't have your cake and eat it too. It's like, you know, there needs to be this balance and that's kind of like where they're at right now, trying to figure, trying to figure that out. 
And in some way this does relate to their feminine because it's because of that other energy that they're trying to give to that keeps them in some way <clears throat> from moving more towards their feminine. And for each of you, that's going to be something different in terms of what it is. So let's see more specifically, let's see their energy towards their feminine. What is going on in their headspace? Okay, the Four of Wands, the Star in Reverse, and the Hanged Man. All right, one sec here, because I'm just getting another message here for the top row. Okay, so for, for some of them, this is them also wanting to, wanting to give more to their feminine. But again, there are those blocks because of other things that they are dealing with that is making it difficult for them to give to you. And it could be a number of things. It could be anything. It could be, like I said, you know, um, issues with commitment and freedom. It could be um, work. It could be other people. It could even be a factor like jealousy. Right, that because maybe there's some envy or some jealousy towards their feminine, that they cannot give to you what they would want because it's too difficult for them to manage. Okay, so it could be it could be anything. Um, <clears throat> here's the thing, though: the ma this masculine knows that. That you that you are their person. They they it's like in their minds they see you as home, but there's this part of them that feels like hmm, either that that can't be fulfilled, or they're not believing in themselves at the moment, and so it's like there's holding back. So. As I was saying before, I feel like something major is happening. There's some kind of a shift that you also might be picking up on where the masculine is holding back. Um, more so than before, or there's some kind of a situation that just makes things seem a little bit more difficult. And because of that, the masculine is also feeling that. Let's see what's going on with them emotionally. Three of Wands in Reverse, the Ten of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. Okay, they're going through a phase right now, and I, I'm telling you, this is just a phase. They're going through a phase where they're feeling like... Okay, something is happening in the 3D... And it is intertwined with them also feeling like I can never have this Four of Wands, I can never have this Ten of Cups, right? Which is the connection with their feminine. Either because of external circumstances, right? In their minds, which is an excuse basically. Um, or because of their own, own beliefs. So... There's this, yeah, there's this phase right now where they're feeling like, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can move forward towards my feminine, even though they know that that's what they want. Like this is, this is conscience. They're, it's not denial, right? It's right here. They know that this is what they want. They feel that this is their Ten of Cups, that this is their happiness, this is where their love is. But they're having a hard time visualizing what this union would look like. Not what it would be like for the two of you to be together in the future, but the actual coming together, like how to work around everything else. That's what they're having a hard time 
um, envisioning, but they're feeling trapped in, in the connection with you. They're feeling trapped in this love and in this desire. So, let's see, let me clarify a little bit, see if we can get a little bit more information here. Get a little more specific on some issues. Let's clarify that top row. Alright, the sun. Get one more. And the four of pentacles. Hmm. So for some of these masculines, it's like. What is this insecurity? There's a huge insecurity here. There's a huge insecurity of losing losing happiness and whether and whether they will be happy or not. Um, I don't know what tricks their minds are playing on them at the moment, but there's definitely something here that's happening where even though they feel like this is their Ten of Cups, there's this insecurity that whatever other energy they are giving to at the moment that I was talking about in the beginning, that if they lose that, that then they're losing a part of their happiness. And that's actually not true. This is just an illusion in their minds. But that's what they need to figure out. And that's why also they're holding back their energy from you. Um, because when they, if they give energy to you, then that means they need to let go of something else. And again, could just be a belief, could just be a way of being, a way of living. Um, and that something else is something that either they've identified with very deeply or um, they've just gotten really used to it. And so there's an insecurity about allowing that to just dissolve. Let's see the second row. Okay. So I actually got one for each and actually I got one more. Okay. So four of cups, the five of swords. <laughs> Those are the mind games, right? The tricks that their minds are playing on them. Uh, the Magician, and the Three of Swords. Yeah, I don't know what it, what is going on in the 3D. If any of you do know what's going on and if, if this is resonating and something major is happening, leave me a comment, let me know. Um, they're feeling like, like they've lost this opportunity um, with you or that maybe that it's too late for some of them or that that for whatever reason and it, it doesn't necessarily mean that they feel like you've detached or that you don't want them anymore it could be because of whatever else is happening in the 3d in their lives where they feel like well now how am I gonna do this I should have already done it um, kind of like that but again this whole thing with them feeling like this can't be fulfilled or that they can't have what they want, it's deceptive. It's, it's, a, it's a trick that their own mind is playing on them. In um, one of the personal readings that I actually did last night, like I kept getting that, um, the masculine was like kind of like fighting against a devil's advocate. Um, like he himself was um, saying, you know, I want to do this, this, and this, but then there was like this little devil's advocate in his mind, like trying to persuade him the opposite. I, I, I'm kind of getting that. It's something similar here, like when it comes to the tricks that our minds can play on us, but they're there for a reason. Because the masculine does need to go through all of these mind games in order to completely dissolve them. So they need to play out, otherwise they might creep up later. They need to play out at some point. And so that's why they're holding back at the moment. 
And the fact that they're holding back at the moment, right, it does create pain. And we see that up here as well because they have nostalgia. Right? And the Three of Swords. So them holding back like this, it's not pleasant. So they're, they're in a very uncomfortable situation right now. So let's see this bottom row, even though this is pretty clear, but let's see. All right, and we have the Knight of Swords. Very restless energy, very, very restless, a lot of overthinking, which is influencing their emotions a lot because like I said, they're feeling this love, they're having a hard time visualizing the actual union, but they're still feeling so um, drawn to the feminine and that this is what they want. And so that creates a lot of restlessness and there's a fear of losing this for good, even though they still, <laughs> even though they feel like, well, it feels almost impossible, but they still don't want to lose it. It's like almost, they don't want to believe that. So there's like this huge like tug of war that's going on between them. And again, it's related to something that is also happening for them in their environment, in their life, some kind of an event, um, could be anything. So, okay, well, let's... Let's see what's going on with the feminines and then we'll take a quick look at what is coming up in the next couple of weeks. So I don't have much face because of Mannix, but we'll do the best I can. Okay, so for the feminines. A hidden gift, sadness, and ending a new beginning. So it's very, very interesting to me <laughs> that there are literally like only two cards in this deck that have the word hidden, and we got both of them, one for the masculine, one for the feminine. A hidden path, hidden path, and a hidden gift. So this to me is just confirmation that yes, something is being hidden right now. Something is not exactly what it seems. It looks possibly like horrible on the outside, but then um, underneath it all, there's something else that's hiding. And yeah, for the feminine, as I said in the beginning, before I even got this card, you know, um, for some of you, it could be triggering or there could be some sadness. It can feel like, like a definite ending, but there's a new beginning. There's a new beginning at the end of all of this that's happening. You just can't see it yet. Okay, so let's see what else for the feminines. And because it's it's like a gift, it's like you're you're gaining something out of this, even if it feels like absolute crap right now. Um, but there's something that you are gaining from this in terms of soul growth, soul evolution, um, balance, whatever. Okay, we have the answer is yes, mask, and family. Okay, so sometimes, sometimes certain cards that we get can resonate for somebody and be a very, very specific message, okay? So always look at the cards and, you know, see if, it's, if it stands out to you or if it speaks to you for something very, very specific, okay? And if that's the case, take that message. Now, what I'm getting here in general for the collective is that exactly what I just said. It's being confirmed again. The answer is yes, there's a mask. Things are not being revealed right now. Things are not what they seem. Something is hidden. Okay, this is confirmation. Um, I feel like this family card is a little bit separate possibly from this, okay, unless it speaks to you in some way differently, take that. Um, for a lot of you, there could be something on, going on with your family or just, you know, in the way that you are thinking about family. But this is mostly in terms of your, your divine masculine, all right? 
And so I feel like, yeah, it's being masked right now. It might feel like, you know, being a family with this person is something that feels completely impossible. But again, that's just a mask. It's not the reality. Something else is happening. So we're just getting that confirmed again and again. Okay. Um, let me just pull just a couple, just three cards for the feminines. Queen of Swords, Justice, and the Nine of Swords. Okay, interesting um, that we have Justice and balancing the scales is very similar. It's pretty much the same, the same um, meaning as as Justice. Okay, so we got it once for the masculines, and now we're getting this as well for the feminines. So you're learning a lot here. There's just like as, as I was saying before, right? It's being confirmed again. There's something here that you are bringing into balance within your own self. I feel like you are being, whatever it is that is happening, it's because you're being asked to detach, whether you realize it or not. Um, whatever this event is that is happening, it is creating triggers. It is creating a lot of restlessness for you, possibly, or it just feels unsettling. You know, like if you don't feel like, oh, like this intense stress, okay, because maybe you don't. Um, it could just feel a little bit unsettling, like the idea of whatever it is that's happening right now with the masculine or, you know, any ideas that have come into your own mind about the future. It could be a little bit unsettling, but know that whatever is happening, it is because it is forcing you in some way to detach and to have some kind of soul growth, to bring some, find some kind of balance within your own self. And sometimes that can only happen like when we hit rock bottom or when we are shaken up. So then, you know, we're, you know, influenced in that way to find more balance within than what we had before. So that's what's happening right now with the feminines. So if something feels off or, you know, you couldn't pinpoint it, maybe, maybe this will resonate for you. Okay, so let's see what is coming up. Next couple of weeks or so for the masculines. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles all in reverse. All right, what is happening here with the masculine? Um, first of all, they're all pentacles. So a lot of focus on the 3D, a lot of focus on whatever this event is, whatever is happening in their 3D world. I feel like they really just need to process that and work around that, like really figure out what it is that is going on there. Um, I actually get that things for them, like whatever it is that's happening in the next week, okay, this is not long-term future, okay, this is, we're talking like right now, like next week, um, I feel like things might get even a little bit more uncomfortable for them. Um, and just feeling like, okay, you know what, this door's closed, that door's closed, whatever it is that I'm trying to do here, like this isn't working. And so that is what is going to, you know, force them to figure out a different solution, to find a different way to move towards their feminine and to go after that Ten of Cups, to go after what it is that they want. Even if that means um, removing people from their lives or removing certain energies from their, from their lives that is purely just in the 3D and is not serving a more spiritual, a more um, deep purpose. So I do get that, yes, things are going to get a little bit more um, unsettling and more uncomfortable for them before you notice a more positive shift, okay? So, and time is relevant, okay? This might not be like exactly <laughs> like next week. It could be like 10 days, two weeks, but it's short term. Okay, um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see what, what comes after this. Um, 
I don't know why, I, I usually, I think I don't get future energies for the feminines because it's not really set in stone, you know, and you are in control, but let's see, because I'm getting guidance right now to pull at least one card for the feminines. All right, and we have the Ten of Wands. Okay, I see. So the message here for the feminines is, you know, whatever it is that is happening right now, do not let that get the best of you. Do not let that burden you. Do not carry that burden. Whatever is happening, it's happening for a reason, all right? We have justice here. We have balancing the scales. It's, it's a hidden path. There's something hiding behind all of the all of what, whatever is happening for you in your situation at the moment. And that something that is hidden is something positive. It's there for a good purpose. Okay, so yeah, let's get an Oracle card to close this out. Please do give me a thumbs up if this resonated with you. All right, and we have Go the Distance and Treasure Island. I'm telling you, this is whatever is happening, it's happening to push this connection. All right, to push towards that Ten of Cups, towards that Ten of Pentacles, towards that treasure, towards love, towards happiness. But treasures, right, and treasure islands, they're always hidden. Right? That's the whole point. They're hidden. So this is just pretty much summing up everything I've been saying. Whatever it is that's happening beneath the surface, things are moving towards that hidden treasure. It's just not, not being shown to you. So yeah, I am going to leave it at that. And I thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will post the... Um, DMDF um, in karmic situations either on Sunday or Monday. All right, guys, thank you so much. Much love.